Today we're going to take a look at the different ways to shoot a puck. There are four different types of shots in hockey. There's the wrist shot, the slap shot, the snap shot, and the backhand. Let's start out with the wrist shot. The wrist shot is done with the forehand of the blade, the inside of the curve on a stick. I'm a left-handed shot, so my right hand will go at the top. And for the wrist shot, my left hand will go about a comfortable distance down the shaft of the stick. Now with the wrist shot, the puck will remain in contact with the blade of the stick longer than any other shot. As the player shifts his weight from his back leg to his forward leg in the stance, the puck will roll from the heel of the stick to the toe of the stick, creating accuracy along the way. Because of the amount of time that the puck stays in contact with the blade of the stick, the wrist shot is the most accurate. But what is gained in accuracy is given up in speed. The next shot we're gonna take a look at is the slap shot. Now where the wrist shot is for accuracy, the slap shot is for speed. The hands are placed further apart on the slap shot than they are for the wrist shot with the bottom hand farther down on the shaft of the stick. Weight distribution still moves from the back foot to the front foot in the stance, but as the player is taking the shot, the stick will make contact with the ice behind the puck, not quite with the puck, in order to create flex on the shaft of the stick. The flex on the stick, when it makes contact with the puck, will create a whip-like action, much like that of a bow and arrow. The speed of the slap shot is not only in the flex of the stick, but also in the momentum the stick already has as it makes contact with the puck. The quick contact time, however, also reduces the accuracy. The third shot we'll take a look at is the snap shot. Now, the snap shot combines the accuracy and the quick release of the wrist shot with the speed of the slap shot. Just like with the slap shot, the puck will remain stationary and the stick will start out behind the puck. As the shot is being taken, the player will snap his wrist as he makes contact with the puck, hence the name snap shot. The snap of the wrist provides the speed of the shot, while the reduced distance between the blade and the puck at the start of the shot improves the accuracy from the slap shot. The final shot we'll take a look at is the backhand. It is the only shot that doesn't utilize the forehand of the stick or the inside of the curve, instead utilizing the outside of the curve of the stick. The mechanics of the backhand work much like that of the wrist shot, with weight distribution still moving from the back leg to the front leg and the puck remaining on the stick throughout the shot, moving from the heel to the toe. There you see the four different types of shots, all of which have the common goal of putting the puck in the back of the net. Carter Baum, Barron's TV.